Passionate arguments on both sides of the debate around genetically modified foods. Now, recently passed legislation now means that over the next several months, you may see more GMO labels on the food that you buy at the grocery store. Now, the first time that you see that label, you'll want to know what are GMOs and are they safe for me to eat? So here to shed some light on what we all need to know is Connie Dykeman. She joins me now. Thank Good you. morning, Connie. Hello. All right, well, first, what are GMOs? Why do we even need them? Well, GM is basically a technology that moves a gene from one plant to another, and this is done for a variety of reasons, but just a few of those reasons might be increase yield, so to get more product, might be to make a crop better tolerant to drought, or it might be to help it be more pest resistant, so you don't have to spray as much. But there can be a lot of other reasons, but the bottom line is it's a technology that will allow farmers to make a decision based upon what's best for their land as they plant their crops to maximize yield. And that's important because we're looking at population growth of getting to about 10 billion by 2050. We're going to need more food than what we currently have. And this technology will be one way that the farmers can do that. And are they as safe to eat as non-GMOs? You're correct. We all want to eat those right foods and those healthful foods. And the good news is that GM foods are safe. The National Academies of Science did a report just a couple months ago, actually. And what they had done is they reviewed all the scientific evidence, put that all together and came out with a report that said GM foods are safe for humans and animals to consume. They are not connected to any increases in disease, so no connection to cancer, diabetes, obesity, or food allergies, areas that people have tried to say, ooh, might be a problem. Bottom line is, National Academy said, these are safe for us to consume. So GMOs have been around for 20 years. Why is the labeling you know, sparking so much conversation now? You know, I think this conversation is about people's recognition. I don't know where my food comes from. I like food. I want this food. But I don't understand the process of farm to table. You know, we talk farm to fork, but most people don't know what that means. So that confusion, the interest, and certainly the passion about food has brought this to the table. And I think when we look at that, what it is, is a good time to give people some great resources. And GMOAnswers.com is one of those online resources that will give them more information. And what do the new you know, labels mean for consumers? Well, we don't really know because, of course, they aren't to the label point yet. The regulations haven't even been formulated. But, you know, what I can tell people is that as a registered dietitian, the most important part of a food label is the nutrition facts panel and the list of ingredients. That's what's in your food. The front of the package, other things on that package don't tell you what am I going to eat. But that nutrition facts panel and list of ingredients outlines it very nicely. And tell us a little bit more about um, GMOAnswers.com and the role that you and other professionals like you play. GMOAnswers.com is a great online resource. You know, it's a basic resource so you can get a lot of information there. But what I think is unique and probably the, the most fun for me as a volunteer expert is people can submit questions. So you could write in a question about something that you're confused about or interested in. And then depending upon the area, it will go to the appropriate expert. So obviously I'll get the nutrition ones, the farmer will get those, the scientists theirs. We answer those questions. We provide the response to the consumer. And that's what's so exciting because now we can help translate the science and make it comfortable, usable information. And a good website for even more information, Connie? GMOAnswers.com, great resource. Thank you so much. Thanks. Dental implants or dentures, find